let's see one question from integration so we need to solve this question now uh, this one uh, we can solve with the help of uh, partial fraction okay because that is one of the most used method so first factor is a quadratic one and the second factor is a linear one so if we want to write this in the form of uh, x square plus 1 this is the quadratic one and we have x minus 1 which is a linear so for quadratic what we do we write a x plus b divided by the quadratic factor which is x square plus 1 for linear we simply write a constant which is c divided by x minus okay now further we can simplify x divided by x square plus 1 x minus 1 and this will be if you divide this uh, by Uh, if you multiply cross multiply so with a you will get x into x which is x square and x into minus 1 which is minus x. and with b you will get x minus 1 similarly cross multiply here so with c you will get x square plus 1 and in denominator you will have x square plus 1 and x minus 1 so this as usual will get cancelled now concentrate here in lhs you are getting x in rhs you are getting ax square minus x plus b times x minus 1 plus c times x square plus 1 now comparing the coefficient now coefficient of x square in lhs is 0 in rhs coefficient of x square is a plus c and in lhs it is 0 so we compare the coefficient of x square next we can compare the coefficient of uh, x so in rhs we have minus a plus b and in lhs it is 1 okay this is the second equation third equation we can get by equating uh, constant term so in lhs constant term is 0 in rhs it is minus b plus c and that is equal to 0 so uh if we add first equation and the second equation this is your third equation if you add first and second a and a will get cancelled you will get b plus c equals to 1 and from third equation you have minus b plus c equals to 0 if you add them you will get 2c equals to 1 that is c is 1 by 2 so you are getting c as 1 by 2 so from this equation minus b equals to minus c that is b equals to c so the value of b will also be equal to 1 by 2 now a plus c equals to 0 okay so from here we can say that the value of a will be negative of that of c so minus 1 by 2. so a is your minus half and b and c is your half so we can come back to this equation and we can write integral of x divided by x square plus 1 
into x minus 1 dx is equal to uh, a is minus half so minus half x plus b it was ax plus b divided by the quadratic portion plus c which is half divided by the linear portion ok we can integrate them separately dx and this is also dx now sorry b is also uh, half so we can write that also as half now we can further separate this and we can write minus half and we have x divided by x square plus 1 dx and second integration I have half outside dx divided by x square plus 1 third integral I have half if I take out so dx divided by x minus 1 now in this integral uh, if I multiply and divide by 2 so if I take denominator as t if I take x square plus 1 as t my 2x dx will become dt so this is dt by t which is log t so minus 1 by 4 log mod denominator this is the first integral coming to the second integral dx upon x square plus 1 is tan inverse x coming to the third integral because this is a linear portion and also coefficient of x is 1 so we don't need to divide by anything so simply half log mod x minus 1 and plus c I can write so I have got uh, my final answer which is integral of x divided by x square plus 1 x minus 1 dx is minus 1 by 4 log mod x square plus 1 plus half tan inverse x plus half log mod x minus 1 plus c if you want you can uh, take half common you can uh, use the log a minus log b property in first and third you can do a lot of thing uh, with your final result that depends on what answer is given in your textbook but this was the basic step uh, coming back to our problem this was a partial fraction based problem so for quadratic portion we used ax plus b divided by that quadratic portion and for linear portion we have c divided by x minus 1 and then simplified we equated the coefficients we got the value of abc we put back the equation of abc and got to our answer just simple substitution simple formula simple linear uh, so I hope you understood this question. Thanks and have a very nice day.